Hi, I'm Tammy Reese. I work for Pivotal Labs, as Andrew said. I am a product management consultant. Pivotal Labs is trying to change the way the world makes software. And as a product manager, I help our clients figure out what to do next. Um, so I'm here to talk about how to rock your product demo. And a demo is a public speaking event, right? You just happen to have really great visual aids. And a lot of people are really afraid of public speaking. If you didn't know this, the number one phobia that people get diagnosed with is actually public speaking, not fear of death. Uh, so when preparing for a public speech or demo, know your goals. Are you trying to get an investor? Are you trying to get a new customer? Are you trying to get a raise? Are you trying to get a new job? Whatever it is, know what you're trying to get out of it because that'll totally help you with preparing for it. Then know your audience. Who's listening? What is their expertise? What are they trying to get out of it? And cater to them. You're building a product, someone's gonna use it. Who are you talking to? Are they a user? Are they someone's gonna buy it? These are the things that you should really think about. And then know your product. Know it inside and out. Because someone's always gonna ask you that random question that you never anticipated, and is it really part of your demo? And if you nail it and you give them the right answer, they're gonna love you. They're gonna love your product, going back to that goal. So, like any speech, there's two parts. We've got content, what you say, and then how you say it will come a little later. So part one is what you say. We work in content. Um, so when we think about what you say and when you're demoing, you're showing something, but you want to talk about the benefits, not the features. Because again, when you're thinking about the audience, you want to know why they should care about it, right? So what's in it for them? How is this going to make their life better? How is it going to save them time? How is it going to make them money? Whatever that benefit is, that's what you want to talk about. Um, a number of you have probably seen the Simon Sinek speech about the golden circle. Start with why. It's in the center for a reason. Why, again, goes back to the benefits. Why should someone else care? Why should someone keep listening to you? Why should someone give you money? These are all questions that you're probably going to need to answer in a really great demo. Tell a story. Tell a story about a user that's really frustrated right now and there's a problem and they don't know what to do. Your problem, your product, it comes, it resolves, it's, it solves. That's what you want to do. And you want to show that. It's great to tell a story, but you don't want to talk about your product. You actually want to show it. You want to show it working. You want to press the buttons. You want to let somebody else press the buttons. Those are the things that are going to make your product demo great. So in a second, we're going to see a screen. This is a basic login screen. I could write out five or 15 bullet points around why this is great and it's got social integration. You know what's even better? Pressing the button that signs in with Facebook. Show someone that it works. Those are the things that you want to do in your product demo. Show someone a really awesome trend graph or anything else. And then make it a discussion. You know your audience as best as you can, but let them ask questions. Let them guide the demo. You can have 12,000 things you want to show, but if you don't show them the one feature they care about, you've lost. This is something that happens a lot. Andrew earlier mentioned live demo. Actually, I think that might have been during uh, prep here. But if your site is unstable, don't demo on it. But if you can make it stable, demo on it. Because no one wants to see a 404 or 500 error. So fake it till you make it. Use InVision. Use balsamic clickable mockups. Use pay prototype on paper. That's OK. There's a company in New York. They raised $13 million without a single line of code. They just used InVision. <laughs> it happens. You know why? Because it was about how they said it, right? If you can show and envision, but you speak confidently, you speak with poise, people will have confidence in you. So the next slide is gonna talk about confidence, but there's more to it than just confidence, right? It's about building them with you, right? Having that discussion we talked about earlier, standing strong. Even if you're on the phone, speak confidently. Like a lot of people do remote demos now, I think a lot of us do that. Speak confidently when you do that. Sit up straight and then change your tone. No one wants to be the principal in Ferris Bueller's day off, right? No one wants to be monotone. And the more excited you are, the more excited someone else will be. I'm talking in a variety of tones right now. I even have a sore voice. But all of you are looking at me. And it isn't just because I'm up here. It's because I'm talking probably relatively fast. But I, I changed my tone. So um, speed matters. If you talk too fast, no one listens. If you talk too slow, people fall asleep. Find the right pace. And again, pause. Pause when you show a new screen. Pause when you are done and you've made a really important point. Let people start thinking about what you've said or what they're about to see. That's OK. Pausing really, really, really helps. It's part of that speed stuff. And in honor of New York, Carnegie Hall, the only way to get there is to practice, practice, practice. So I was in here earlier practicing. A number of the other speakers were as well. Demos are the same thing. Click through the screens. Do it. 
do it 10 times. It'll make you feel better and it'll help you rock your product demo. Thank you.